We all know that Warren Buffett is one of the greatest investment masters of our time. Since the 1960s, he has demonstrated extraordinary wisdom and insight, leading his company Berkshire Hathaway to achieve remarkable performance. From an obscure insurance company, it has grown into an investment empire worth hundreds of billions of dollars. Buffett's success lies not only in his outstanding investment acumen, but also in his unique approach to business management. This legendary investor has left us with a wealth of invaluable management wisdom. For example, he opposes focusing solely on a company's profit figures, but advocates paying closer attention to its return on net assets. He believes that profit numbers do not truly reflect a company's value. What's more important is to look at the changes in the company's assets. Buffett once said a very classic quote, except for 12 investments, all the others are disastrous. This statement reveals one of his investment principles, the willingness to experiment and trial and error. He has personally experienced multiple failures in the insurance and textile industries, but eventually he found his tailwind industry, the insurance business. Buffett believes that only by daring to try, even if you fail, should you not be discouraged, but rather summarize the experience and seek a more suitable development path. This trial and error spirit has also become an important part of Buffett's investment philosophy. He often says, those who never try to fail can never succeed. For entrepreneurs and business leaders, this is undoubtedly a very valuable experience. In addition to emphasizing trial and error, Buffy also places great importance on the capabilities and character of a company's management team when choosing investment targets. He once said a very classic quote, the person you're willing to have your daughter marry is the best CEO. This statement reflects his extremely high standards for management teams. Buffett greatly admired William Miller, the CEO of Metropolitan Broadcasting Company, whom he considered one of the eight most outstanding CEOs in American history. In 1985, when Metropolitan was about to acquire ABC, a company four times its size, for $3.5 billion, Buffett did not hesitate to invest $500 million and entrust all voting rights to Miller. It is clear that for Buffett, the true value of a company lies not only in its financial data, but also in its management team. Buffett once said that Miller was not only an outstanding manager, but also the kind of person he would be willing to have his daughter marry. It is evident that in Buffett's eyes, a truly exceptional entrepreneur not only needs to have outstanding business acumen, but also high moral character and integrity. This kind of philosophy has also deeply influenced many subsequent investment gurus and entrepreneurs. For example, Jack Ma once said, if you're willing to have your daughter marry someone, that person is a real good CEO. It can be seen that Buffett's ideas have been widely circulated and recognized in today's business circles. For ordinary investors like us, Buffett's insights are undoubtedly worth deep reflection and learning. When choosing investment targets, we cannot simply focus on a company's financial data, but must also pay attention to its management team. An excellent management team not only can create more value for the company, but also bring greater returns to investors. At the same time, we should also learn Buffett's trial and error spirit. In the path of investment and entrepreneurship, failure is inevitable, but as long as we dare to try, dare to draw lessons from failure, I believe we will eventually find the right development path for ourselves. As Buffett said, those who never try to fail can never succeed. This sentence applies not only to investors, but to anyone who wants to succeed in life. Let us use Buffett's ideas and principles to guide our investment practices and career development. I believe that one day, we too can become the greatest entrepreneurs and investors of this era.